Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023. The Drunk Poker Root is beer time. It's uh, not a nice day outside. It's getting worse. I hope you're all getting home safe when you see this. I hope you've gotten home safe. Everything's cool. Don't be watching this in the car. you got to drive. Uh, so I stopped on the way home. <laughs> so the other day, Miss Poke went up for dinner with her friends from work. And she mentioned me. She's like, they got Tremens on tap here at this the, the restaurant. She went to, and I'm like, I haven't had that in like so long. It's one of my all-time favorite beers. Uh, I last talked about it two years ago, three years ago almost now. And I thought, you know, it's time to come back and revisit it. Because why not? Available only at the beer store because the LCBO was afraid of the Delirium Tremens. Delirium Tremens is a Belgian Golden Strong. I believe still 8.7%. Sorry, 8.5%. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's legitimately one of the best beers in the world, in my opinion. Um, I have two Delirium Tremens glasses. They were both gifts from, from people. I don't remember who gave me this one, so I apologize. Uh, this was my buddy, uh, one of my other buddies, and I forget his name now. Patrick. Patrick got me this one. We had it to a bar, and they had it on tap, and he just told me to take the glass, so I took it. I can use this weird big-ass one, because why not? It's even got, like, an elephant there. Do you know, Granny, my Granny, my late Granny, she collected elephants. Not really. Somebody gave her an elephant once, and then everybody saw that she had an elephant figurine, so everybody just gave her elephants. That's what happens. I had that way of gnomes for a while. Here's the thing. Um, so I grabbed four. It's relatively decently priced. It is legitimately, and I will say this till the day I die, the most dangerous beer in the world. Because you don't realize that 8.5% at all. It tastes like candy. It's like Belgian candy. Oh, look at that. that uh, like, that's just sexy. Beautiful head. It's gorgeous. I just, legitimately, you don't realize, I don't. I remember the first time I had it. I've called it that ever since the very first time I had it, like seven years ago. And I just, I fell in love with it. And it was one of those beers that just changed everything for me. So cheers to the Tremens, the Delirium Tremens. Let's uh, get into it on this blizzardy day out there. Cheers. It has all those things I love. That kind of banana bubble gum, that, 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 that Belgian candy sugar, the clove, the pepper. But it's so well put and so well balanced. Like, you know it's a strong beer. You can feel that it's a strong beer. There's some orange citrus in there. Um, you feel that. You feel that it's a strong beer, but you don't. You're just like, ah, it's just it's a big Belgian beer. It's fine. You have three of these, and you're going to go sideways. Oh, sideways. Oh, sideways. It is absolutely a phenomenal beer. My opinion has not changed of it. I just wanted to revisit it. And I think a lot of times when I go back and revisit beers, because some beers I'll do once a year, some beers just once every couple of years we'll talk about them. With this one, it's just, I forget that you can only get it at the beer store because literally the LCBO will not list it because of the name. Um, the LCBO cowards. But anyways, you can buy it in a single, but there are price breaks at like four pack, six pack, two four. I almost bought a two four. I considered it. But I'm like, that seems like an excessive amount of Tremens. They will give you the Tremens. You need to, you need to manage that. So I bought a six-pack of Headstock. Honestly, like two two of my favorite beers in the world, and I just bought them, and, and they're together. And they're completely different beers. But to me, that is one hell of a night. Not that you're going to drink all ten, because you will not. You, that's not a good morning. But I like that I can have a couple of these, and then I'm going to have a couple of Headstocks while we play online trivia, and then I'm, I'm good for the night. Maybe, maybe a ride to finish it off. But if you can go to the beer store, get this beer. If you like Belgian beers, you know you know this beer. If you've never had it, get it. That bubble gum, that coal, the candy. Oh. Like, it's just such a mouthful. It's such a work of art. It is, without a doubt, one of those beers that did help transform what I think about beer and continues this day to deliver in memory and nostalgia what I what I would hope for, you know, and not every beer can do that. And I've had beers over the years that I try them and I'm like, oh yeah, but I remember having this. I, I can remember the picture I took of it. I can remember thinking to myself, what like what have I been missing my whole life with not drinking beers like this and turning my my, my myself down at them. And the, the bottles are like, you know, excessive. I know. I love it. So there you go, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Please, please, please be safe out there. Please make sure your phones are charged. You got your storm beers, your storm chips, your storm rye, your storm whatever else you need. Hunker down. We'll get through this. We'll come out the other side. We'll drink some more great beers. All right. Polk loves you. Stay safe. Get tremens. 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 Marbles. I don't know. It's a lot going on. Cheers, my friends. Enjoy your evening.
Like, why is the glass so huge and the bottle so small? I just got to open up more bottles to fill the glass. First world problems.